Hello everyone out there. What we're going to be taking a look at is Windows ME and to see how bad and how unstable it Windows ME is. And for those of you who don't know, Windows ME is actually the successor to Windows 98 Second Edition, which of course Windows 98 Second Edition was a re-release of Windows 98 to fix a lot of software bugs and add some revisions to Windows 98 and correct a lot of problems, but some people think Windows ME is Windows 98 third edition because it's still got that Windows 98 feel to it along with some using the elements of Windows 2000 with the icon shell and the default color scheme which kind of gives it that Windows 2000 feel along with replacing network neighborhood with my network places but Let's take a look at some of the cool things that, some of the interesting things that Windows ME comes with that carried over to later versions of other, uh, later versions of Windows. Like for example, we got Movie Maker, which it always set to the default storyboard editor. But you could turn it into the timeline if you need to edit like small bits and pieces. So we drag that one little clip there. But um, the only downside with this version of Movie Maker, you don't have the option to add titles and transitions. But you do have the option to record narration, and even though you can add audio tracks in the background, which they do give you a little option to adjust the audio levels. But uh, and this version of Movie Maker also had its quirks and couple of software bugs so we're gonna go ahead and ignore we're gonna save it as a project for to, so another thing is very another thing that came with Windows ME that came that's actually very useful with later versions of Windows which was system restore so if you wanted to create your own restore point before you install certain programs or do any type of modification to your computer you can actually select create a restore point I'm going to do test restore point you know add it in the list of restore points just click home and let's say if you wanted to restore your computer from an earlier time from just in case if your computer got a bad virus from like malware another downside is if you ins if you um try to restore it from an earlier point with the malware, somehow the malware will still be stored on the hard drive, which making it where you have to get at a point to re where you have to reformat the hard drive and reinstall the OS from scratch. But uh, Microsoft released well actually Microsoft entered added some updates to fix that problem along with the some of the bugs and quirks that Windows Movie Maker had let's take a look at some of the internet games which of course they don't really work because the zone.com servers are not they no longer work so you're gonna expect to encounter an error message and unless if you find a way to create your own server like some people did for MS using old versions of MSN Messenger, but and what Microsoft at the time was trying to do was hide the portions of MS DOS, it, which you could still somehow so you, which you could still somehow access some portions of MS DOS in Windows ME, but. And of course, you're going to encounter this. It's not just that, that game, but it's also other games too, like Reversi and Hearts. So we're gonna go ahead and quit because that's 
Here's something odd I've encountered in window in Windows ME with the um, icon shell. I found a bug where all the icon categories are still are still the same. It still shows a control panel icon instead of like the no appropriate icons. But even though if you open up Tweak UI to repair the icons. It's still going to look the same. And also, they also use that category style control panel in Windows XP. And, and speaking of the Windows elements that was shown in Windows 2000, that was used in that was carried from Windows 2000 into Windows ME was the integrated, which was the integration of the little audio player. Which you can basically use to preview the little audio tracks in Windows Explorer. But even though in Windows 2000 they also they they use the um the updated version of Windows Media Player to uh when they had the little preview little thing right there on the in the um little side pane in Windows Explorer. So with that being said. And also I wanted to show you that there's actually an unofficial service pack for Windows ME that I've installed, which includes all the important hot fixes and critical updates. The only thing it doesn't really come with is Internet Explorer 6 and Windows Media Player 9. So you're basically going to have to install those individually. So with that being said, let's open up Microsoft Interactive Training which if you have a Windows ME disk you, it even comes with the installation for the interactive training so let's go ahead and show you a little short demo here of one of the training exercises logging on and shutting down <coughs> In this exercise, you'll learn to log on to a Windows Millennium Edition computer. You'll also learn to start and quit a program. Finally, you'll learn to shut down a computer. The members of the Randall family, Cynthia, Joshua, and their son Tristan, have recently installed Windows Millennium Edition on their home computers. Cynthia, who is a hospital administrator, and Joshua, who is a school counselor, share a computer. However, they each use it for different tasks. For this reason, the Randalls have set up this computer so that they can each log on using a specific user profile. Let's log on as Joshua Randall. Type Paris 3. That's an easy Click password. Click OK to log on. And that's like the, they chose the most random names for this little thing this little interactive training thing but let me continue on so instead of me rambling on you are now logged on to Windows because you logged on as Joshua some settings such as desktop appearance and icons are based on the preferences that are set in his profile after you've logged on, you can quickly open a program using the Start menu. Click the Start button on the Windows taskbar, point to Programs, point to Accessories, and then click Paint. Let's assume that you've worked for some time and now would like to shut down Windows. 
This will save any settings that you've changed and save information stored in memory to the hard disk. First, you should close any open windows or programs. To close Paint, click the File menu and then click Exit. Now click the Start button and then click Shut Down. Click OK. Well, that that's going to be too long, but uh, it's kind of interesting how they use a uh, beta version. They use a, either beta 2 or beta 3 version of Windows ME, which, of course, you can still hear the Windows 98 startup and shutdown sounds, even though we all know Windows ME used the same sounds as Windows 2000. It's kind of odd how they didn't u use the um, high color 16 bit and and like they use 256 colors, but uh, it's kind of strange. But I might do a full video of the uh, Microsoft Interactive Training. And do a, show the um, Windows ME preview in its own video. So yeah. And of course, you still got the MS DOS prompt. You know, it probably would say something like command prompt. But another th interesting thing is, I was told, which I was, which I read up about Windows ME. It's it's actually very stable if you can de defrag it continuously. But, uh. And Windows would make Windows. Even though Windows ME was just so bad that before XP came out, a lot of people would, um, replace Windows ME with either 98 Second Edition or. Just. Re or just make the jump to Windows 2000. But, of course. Windows 2000 was a lot better and a lot more stable and more reliable. But Windows ME, of course, was like was just as bad as Vista. And just like Vista and ME were bad as Windows 8, but uh Let's see what else we can might fool around with. So ain't much to talk about, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut down this virtual machine if it doesn't give me any problems, so I'm gonna just ignore that error message. And also, before I go, I forgot to mention that Windows ME even included automatic updates, which is pretty interesting for an operating system that old. But, uh, let me go ahead and shut down and go ahead and end this video. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.